Hi, welcome to Chemistry 3006, the hydrosphere. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, speciation uh, now and what it is. Speciation, well, uh, that's the process of determining the equilibrium distribution of chemical species in aqueous solution, i.e. what are the species in the solution and how much of them are there. How do we do that? Uh, we use thermodynamics, uh, that is chemical equilibrium methods to figure that out, i.e. we find out the alpha constants of all the species. Remember the alpha constants are the degree of dissociation constants. So let's have a look at the picture like the dot point says this is citric acid AH3 and we have a percentage amount uh, and we plot that against pH, for example. We don't have to always plot it against pH, but pH or H plus concentration is the main control variable for these equilibria. So over here we have the alpha zero curve where A3 minus has no hydrogens joined onto it. Here we have the AH curve with charge two minus in green, AH2 one minus, and then the AH3 undissociated species at low pH, where there are so many hydrogens in the solution that they all attach, all three of them attach to the A3 minus species. And you can see that the percentage curves, uh, the alpha dissociation constants all dovetail with each other and they all add up to one because the sum of all the species, their percentages uh, involving A has to equal one because the A atom or the A species has to be somewhere, uh, either three minus or with a hydrogen, or with two hydrogens, or with three. So the sum of the percentage cons of contributions, the vertical, for example, the sum of this percentage in green, plus this one in red, plus this one in pink, plus the blue one, which is so small it's invisible, the sum of all of those at that given pH is one. Right, how do we figure out those curves? Um, well, we did an exercise uh, a little bit on that in class, um, but and uh, it's essentially the same method. We solve a series of simultaneous equations. It's a mathematical exercise. Now, there are two ways of solving those equations. There's the graphical method, which is very easy to use and very instructive, um, which I will teach you. And the other way to do it is using Excel spreadsheets, uh, which is also relatively easy to use you, if you use the solver facility and you set up the equations properly uh, but more often if you're doing this a lot there are custom programs which you can google or buy on the internet. Let's talk about the kinds of equations that you can get. Uh, the equations that you get will give you these uh, degree of dissociation numbers and uh, the types of equations can be classified into three types concentration type equations, electroneutrality equations, misspelt here again, and equilibrium constant expressions. Well, we know what equilibrium constants are. They are constants which involve activities or concentrations of species, uh, depending on whether you're using high or low concentration. So we know what those kinds of equations look like. Electroneutrality equations, um, well, there's only actually one of those. It basically says that the concentration of all the negative species in solution equals the concentration of all the positive species in solution. And that's because overall solutions are neutral. And uh, the most, uh, the other type of equation going backwards in this list is concentration type equations. Uh, these are equations where we have measured the concentration of a certain species uh, say via ICP or AAS or they could be concentration equations that we know because we have simply weighed out the amount of material and dissolved it into the solution so we know the total concentration of the species in solution it's one of those two types either we know it by weighing or we know it by some physical process in the laboratory um, one of the assignments the first assignment you have used the UV vis a photospectrometric method to try and determine the amount of a certain species by its color at a certain wavelength. 